ora everyone, I'm Sarah and I'm here in the beautiful city of Tauranga with our August update. Can you believe it? Only five months until Christmas. And with it comes the opportunity for the Church of Aotearoa to unite and keep the Christ in Christmas, while actively encouraging others to get on board and do the same. Because we can do so much more together than apart. Also, I want to remind you about our new kids resource based out of the Why Christians Believe series. We've been running it at my church here in Tauranga and have found it to be a great tool for building strong foundations, opening discussions, and overall equipping our kids, teachers, as well as wider congregation with answers around why we believe what we believe. We are now up to our fourth in our series of topical updates about outreach. So far, we have covered outreach in church small groups, outreach in New Zealand history, outreach and reasons for belief, and this month we are looking at outreach and unity. And as unity is not a small topic, neither is this email. It is a comprehensive collection of resources, knowledge and wisdom that has the potential to foster significant unity within the Church of Aotearoa. So I encourage you, take your time section by section and digest it thoroughly. In this update, we take a look at how church unity is highly significant to outreach. Unity is however difficult, human nature makes it so. But the theology of unity is simple. There is only one church made up of all who follow and know Christ. We explore the primary two goals regarding unity in the Bible, the glory of God and the mission, while taking an honest look at addressing the role and the function of denominations, suggesting that if the relationship is truly understood, then the tension need not exist. We look into the three levels of unity, recognizing the importance of establishing relationships, but also the great need to then transition them to a place where a vision of what might be uniquely done together is shared, because the overarching goals of unity is building on relationship to the uniting in vision to achieve a practical outworking. And what does this practical outworking look like? Well, there's a wealth of examples, stories, and resources in this month's update to inspire your focus on unity, transform it from a concept into a tangible action. Because we don't just need unity for unity's sake, we need unity for mission's sake. And that's why it's so important for outreach. To identify and do things together, we cannot do apart. Have another great month and check out all our resources at alltogether.co.nz and we'll see you again next month.